In today's video of Hogswire, we are plunging offshore and looking for small shipwrecks that could be holding new PBs and awesome catches. So if you're new here, do not forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for all of our episodes of Hog Squad Fishing and I'll see you guys on the water. All right guys, so the speed I like to go when trolling, slow trolling baits for kingfish is just 2.5 to two miles an hour or even less. I just make sure my bait's not skipping. I put it back way back and I wait for that bite to happen guys. That's the most important part is the speed and how your bait's presented. So make sure your bait's presented nice and uh, the kingfish will eat it. So guys, today's bait of choice you need, giant thread fin, just like that. And all you're gonna do is cast it off the boat nice and easy. Make sure they're hooked through the butt with the double hook or triple hook rigs. They work great guys and they will catch you more fish and you will not get chewed off and you don't need wire. So do it like that. What do we have here? Dude, how many of these creatures are there out there? What are you? What are you? I can only imagine what you could be. I catch sand trout. We're all gonna pout. Oh, you got him on the middle of it. Get him. Yep. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, Bill. You feeling right? I don't know. It ain't that. Fish around the boat, guys. Fish around the boat. There you go. He's going for a little bit of a run now. He's a king. He's a king. Yeah. I just got nutted. I just got, I got drilled, dude. Got it. Oh, on, on. Bro, I think I might have a Spanish, big Spanish. We're doubled up. Oh, this is a little king? I don't know, it might be a king. Oh. A king? Yeah. No, that's a Spanish, dude. It gradually falls, dude. This is definitely a Spanish. This is not. This might be the biggest Spanish mackerel I've ever seen, dude. Look at that Spanish mackerel, guys. This thing is my PB. Never even dreamed of catching one this big. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you a big boy? A little, a little bit big for this size. Babe, I've never seen a shark that big. No? Hey, no, I'm not. Oh. So if you want to up your chance of catching these fish that we're catching right now, chumming is going to be your best friend. Find an area of bait, like we pull up here giant thread fins, and just throw ones and twos of live baits. The ones and twos will keep the bait consistent, but you know, you're not wasting all your bait. And then the dead bait, what I like to do is just throw it all next to the boat, bring the fish in close. When I first get to a spot, I'll spread out all the chum, just like that, and it works amazing, guys. We might have the right culprit on. Maybe. I don't know, it's kind of feeling weird. What is that? Is that a king? Maybe another big Spanish? Yeah, I think that's a kingfish. No, that's a giant. Dude, look at that Spanish. That is another giant Spanish. Oh my god, we're on them. There we go. Look at these guys. Is that a Freeman 28? 
Oh my goodness! That's bigger than your last Dude, one! Dude, holy crap! That's an absolute monster, guys. Now we just need a kingfish. Just We've got... you get some... Wait, where is he? <laughs> all right, guys, all we're doing right now, just free lining the thread fins out. This is the ideal way when you're fishing these giant Spanish mackerel, bonita, and kingfish. Hopefully we come across a kingfish on the double hook rigs and triple hook rigs, but as of right now, they ain't looking too hot in our favor, but we're still having fun. Yeah, we, we've had the Spanish mackerel showing of a lifetime. I can't complain there. Wait, no, 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 you're not bit. Are you? Yeah, I am. Eat it. Is that, I think that's your bait, babe. No. Were you bit? Something is pulling me. Yeah, something is pulling you. Get him. Get him. Walk, walk around, walk around. Oh, shit. Is your bait still on, babe? Yeah, I just recast it. Look at that thing, guys. That is the most incredible Spanish mackerel I've ever caught. Wait. Yeah, look at that. They might have the right guy on. <laughs> what? On the 4K, huh? Point. Something is out there bullying me, dude. <laughs> oh. Something's making fun of you out dude, there. Look at what it just did to my bait. Easy, Kai. Easy, easy. Like, go around, go around, go around. Move. I'm trying to get under. Nice and easy, nice and easy. <laughs> oh, you're at leader. How long is your leader, Bill? Uh, oh, man, big bonita! Go. Give me the gaff, give me the gaff. No, no, Kai, 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 Kai. Okay, good. Stick him. That's what we're after. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Come on, get out of there, hook. Okay. As soon as I put it down, yeah. dude. Hey, look at what's happening. I think you might have a, a bubble, a bubble yep. if you want and cotton also. Oh, he's running right at me. I think it's a bonita. He's head shaking. Oh, boy, he's head shaking. He's head shaking, boys. He's head shaking, boys. Here, can I get the camera? Oh! Another ball. Oh ball. my goodness, dude! I can't get away from these monsters. Another big Spanish? I can't get away from these monster Spanish, dude. Uh, <laughs> we are on some monster Spanish and some monster freaking bonita. Another thing you guys need to really focus on it's making a lot of bait you guys can't come out here if it's a bait tank full you need a bait tank and a bucket full of chum guys because you're gonna burn through it quick especially if the kingfish show up and you want to keep them around as of today we kept some big spanish mackerel around with that chum and we kept some bonita around but we're gonna keep on the action and see what we can catch well guys leave, leave it to bill to hook another giant shark but um you know that's how it is out here some days you get a bunch of fish and some days you get a couple fish in the shark this one might be bigger than the last one. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. It was an awesome day on the water. And if you're new here, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also guys, if you want to catch a bunch of fish, stay tuned because we got a bunch of how to catch these certain fish tutorials coming. And I'm going to help you guys every step of the way on the water. So always stay tuned and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next week on the walk. What's up is